Hello all. Good morning everyone. So let's today learn the concept of recursive city in SQL Server. So a recursive common table expression is a city that references itself. By doing so, the city repeatedly executes, returns the subset of data and until it returns the complete result set. So whenever the complete result set is retrieved, it will stop. The recursive recursion will be stopped at that point of time. Now a recursive city is useful in query hierarchical data such as organization charts. So we will see the example of this in some time where one employee reports to a manager for multi-level <coughs> bill of materials when a product consists of many components. And each component itself also consists of many other components. So basically, re recursive city is used in, in case of hierarchical data retrieval. So in general, a recursive city has three parts. So an initial query that returns the base result set of the city. So this is known as the anchor member of anchor member of recursive city. Now the initial query is called as an anchor member, right? A recursive query that references the common table expression. Therefore, it is called as the recursive member. The recursive member is union all with the union all with the anchor member using the union all operator. A termination condition specified in the recursive member that terminates the execution of the recursive query. So termination condition is specified in the recursive member query. So at that at that point of time, the recursion will be stopped. So let me see all this recursive city concept through one example. So I have created one staff table. Staff, staff ID, first name, last name, email, phone number, active store ID and manager ID. Now let's, I have already inserted that data into the staff table. So now let me select the data from the staff table order by manager ID column. Now what I want, now I want the manager name of the all of this staff ID and staff name with respect to manager ID column I require manager name column as well. So now let me <coughs> Write the recursive query for the same. Actually, I have already <laughs> written it. Let me explain the same. So over here, if you see the this one, the first select statement inside the recursive city is known as anchor member, right? Anchor member. So here, if you see over here, the first in the staff table, the manager ID column is null for Tabulia section employee, right? So that is the main manager of the company. So now we need to find the hierarchical data as whose staff ID manager is who. And then again, that same kind of process will be repeating until the recursion will be stopped. So now let me execute again. So this is our main manager and that we will find with the anchor query. So here manager ID is null, right? From the staff table. Now by using the recursive city, we need to use the union all operator that is mandatory. Now while using the union all operator, all this column here there are four columns. So in the second query means this is our recursive query in recursive query also has the same number of 
columns as of anchor query so above there is a four columns so in the recursive query also there will be compulsory four columns should be there because we have write the union or operator now one more thing data types data types also match respectively in all four columns so all this staff id column over here staff id column if staff id is integer over here and staff id is varchar over here then data type is mismatched so that is not possible right so for that purpose data type should be matched to all these four columns now let me now in the recursive query we have first selected the data from the staff table and then we are selecting the data from the recursive our anchor query and now we are joining o dot staff id means o means this one staff id is joining with manager id column of this one right so let me first execute the query and now here we are choosing the first name column from the employee means first name column from the staff table as well as first name column from the recursive uh, anchor member as well that is city org so that is actually our manager name now let me execute the query okay there is something wrong so now if you see over here the manager name is the first one staff id 1 has manager id null so that is our main manager now if you see over here let me copy this data into the excel file so now that is our main manager right now in the next row what it will do it will select the o dot staff id so what is o over here o means <coughs> our first query right our anchor query so it will go through this one o dot staff id equal to e dot manager id so so at what point of time this staff id comes into the manager id column of the a manager id column of the staff with anchor id column of the manager so it will come over here right so this one employee id is coming three times over here so it will choose the one employee first name this one is the manager name of all these three staff id right now it will go to the second row so second staff id it will select this that second staff id into the this two place uh, the, uh, other table that where that manager where that manager id coming in the staff table so it is coming over here right so this mary mary ya is the manager of employee 3 and 4 or staff id 3 and 4 again it will go to the fifth so where is fifth is coming so fifth is coming over here right so that fifth Janet is the manager of the staff ID six and seven, right? So now at the end of the time, there is no no staff ID is manager ID is ten or above. So it will stop over here. 
then the recursion will be stopped and query will be stopped executing right so this is the actually the basically the concept of recursivity it will perform recursively until the exit condition is or filter condi exit filter condition is satisfied and it will give the result so thank you so much everyone we will come again with the next sql concept as soon as possible thank you